The department's composed of a group of sociologists and psychologists, some management theorists, but most have a disciplinary background in either sociology or psychology who are interested in studying the workplace. And they study a range of topics from um, hybrid organizations, organizations that have two kinds of missions, both for-profit and um, uh, social benefits, like Ben and Jerry's, sort of, uh, to people who do research on creativity. I do research on entrepreneurship. Um, any, any kind of thing that you want to study about organizations, um, somebody around Cornell and many in our department will do it. Students typically, this is probably true for most graduate school programs, but have a very close working relationship with their chair and with other members of their committees. Uh, our students typically go out of here with publications co-authored with faculty members or with other students, sometimes solo authored. But they spend a lot of time working with their chairs to develop the kind of research program that they want to pursue and uh, getting feedback you know, in terms of their interest. And so it's a very collaborative kind of relationship between students and faculty. No, the students actually do collaborate a lot, particularly, you know, they ones who find common interest often pursue projects together. As I said, you work closely with your faculty, but the graduate students have offices uh, downstairs where they're all together. And they spend a lot of time, as graduate students will do, uh, chit-chatting, but also then that often gives rise to kind of common intellectual interest. And so you have, you know, uh, graduate students who are interested in entrepreneurial activities, interacting with people who study labor history, and they get together, you know, and end up with some really interesting pieces of research. Well, I think the students who do best at Cornell uh, are ones that are very entrepreneurial. The thing about Cornell is that it's a very rich environment for people who want to study organizations. There are organizational scholars all over the place, not only in ILR, but in sociology, psychology, the Johnson School. But it does take some energy and some willingness to seek out people that, whose interests mesh with yours. And so students who are broadly interested in organizational studies can find people who are on the micro side who study organizational psychology uh, here and in the Johnson School, <coughs> but also in the psych department. Likewise, people who are interested in macro OB can work with people in the sociology department. We have people in the business school who also do the more macro side of the house, um, as well as in ILR. So, but in order to take full advantage of the resources, you really need to be willing to go and, and do that to reach out. Um, and fortunately, a lot of our students have been really good at that. And we've got some really top-notch students as a consequence. Cornell's program is not highly structured. So in ILR, there are a couple of main courses that we expect our PhD students to take, macro OB and micro OB. We expect them to take a variety of research methods classes. But beyond that, it's up to you to figure out what your interests are. Um, and then to go find courses that match those interests, both within ILR and also outside of it, across campus. Most of our students get a job uh, as a faculty position, mostly in business schools. Uh, so some of our recent grads have gone to Harvard, um, HBS, Johns Hopkins, uh, London Business School, NYU, uh, Washington, St. Louis. So they go to very good schools, um, typically though in business, so that's kind of the destination point for our students. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing that I would underscore is actually the uniqueness of ILR. So most, of, as I said, most of our students go to business schools for, as faculty members, but ILR has this unique mission of, of pursuing the interest of both management and labor, and I think that actually gives students a really interesting, intellectually rich environment, provides an intellectually rich environment for students because we have labor economists, we have people who do study collective bargaining in all different countries, and so they're interacting with graduate students who are studying these different topics, and I think that actually is extremely useful in terms of their intellectual and professional development. I would Make sure that there is a match generally, or that it sounds interesting what the faculty are working on here. 
Faculty don't require students to work on their projects, and in fact, that's part of that kind of entrepreneurial. It's very important for students to develop their own intellectual interest and agenda. And so, um, but still, you need to have some kind of point of common departure, at least, if you're going to pursue that. So I, I would advise students to look carefully at, at the website, make sure that there's a match, and make sure that they feel like they're capable of independent scholarship. Because um, as I've said, that's one thing that is the Cornell way.